Welcome to another Sunday of Plan With Me. This week we're going to be working in zone two. And I'm going to be using the She's In Her Apron planner again that I got from Kimmy at She's In Her Apron. And it's really been working out nicely for me. I've already got it filled out just to save time. But I'll bring you in closer and let you see what I've got going on. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. The featured apron for the week is the Charlotte. Now it's zone two this week and there are several things that I want to get done in the kitchen. And one of them might be to clean those corners on the kitchen floor. You know how there's always like a little bit of crud and crust that kind of gets into the corners? Well, I want to address that. I also need to tidy my pantry as well as tidy the spice pantry and that just needs a little bit of wiping out. Declutter the top pantry shelf. That may or may not get done because that might be more than a notion which means it could be more than a 15 minute task. And then clean the faucet. I was doing some work at the kitchen sink and I happened to turn the faucet over and I was like ew. So it's time to clean that faucet out. So I'll be taking care of that this week as well. So I've got five things listed here so one of these things won't get done. We'll see which one it is. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I get started with my weekly task. Well, it is Monday and it's time to tidy this pantry. And it is definitely at sixes and sevens. We've been doing a lot of dumping and running lately. So today, I'm gonna to take care of that. This definitely does not belong over here. In case you're wondering what these are, they're bay leaves. I've got a big bag of them that I purchased on Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below, but I like to keep bay leaves in my pantry. It kind of helps keep those bugs, those little pantry moths, and those kind of things at bay. So it's time to refresh them. I'll probably put in fresh ones every month or so. And since I'm doing a tidy up, I might as well put in fresh bay leaves. Why is this in the pantry? I will never know. Doesn't belong here. The stuff back here is not too bad. I just want to refresh the bay leaves back there. Otherwise, I could have left those jars where they were. But these are my herbs that I've been drying and preserving for my prep pantry. One thing that I find is that tasks always take longer than I think they're going to take. Well, this side of the pantry is neatly organized. I didn't really need to wipe it down. There was no crumbs or anything like that on the shelves. Just needed to replace the bay leaves in the containers and on the shelves. So that's done over here. You know how I said earlier that I always underestimate how long a task is going to take. And I do that consistently. It's already taken me about 15 or 20 minutes to get this side done. So that means this side is going to have to get done tomorrow and it's going to take at least another 15 or 20 minutes for this side because I'm definitely going to have to wipe down the shelves because I keep things like honey and oil and peanut butter over here so sometimes those shelves can get a little sticky and then I'll also want to replace the bay leaves over here. This will be on tap for Wednesday. All right, so it is Wednesday, and so we're going to take on task two for this zone two cleaning, and it is going to be this side of the pantry. As you know, I tackled that side of the pantry yesterday, and I know I'm going to have to wipe these shelves down, so I'm going to get everything out, well, almost everything out, and then I'll wipe them down with some um, bay leaf oil, and I'll put my stuff back in there. I have to tell you guys what I did. You're going to get a good laugh at this, but this cornmeal box made me think of it. I had 
a box of grits sitting on my prep pantry in the other room. I don't know what happened, but I went in that dining room one day and the box had fallen over and was on the floor, spilled open, there were grits all over the carpet. I was like, oh my God. My first thought was ants. There'll be ants everywhere. So I got the vacuum cleaner and I vacuumed it up really, really good. But I have just been petrified thinking that it might attract ants. So far, I haven't seen any in there. So I've got these pantry shelves all tidied up and I really like the way they smell. They smell so fresh. I love the smell of bay leaf and they're neat and tidy. So now I'm thinking maybe I need to address the very bottom on that right hand side, which I had not intended to tackle today, but looking at it is making me want to address it. So I will do that tomorrow, which means that one of the other tasks on the list may have to go, but it'll be so nice to have this pantry all tidied up. We'll just see what I do tomorrow. Day three, task three on this zone two cleaning. And I decided to go ahead and finish the pantry. So I'm gonna work on the basket, the snack basket and the area at the bottom here all sorted out. So let's get that started. Okay, let's sort through this snack basket. Well, I already know these veggie crisps can go. We've had these open for a while and we've apparently not eaten them. There's two bags of them open, so they're gonna be tossed. Why are these bags in here? I put these bags in here. And a few chips at the bottom. So let's empty this out. So crackers go in here. Chips are okay. Done. Well, it's Friday and it's the last day of the zone cleaning for the week. And today's task is going to be to clean this faucet. This faucet is a hot mess. I just happened to check it the other day and I was like, oh my goodness, it is past due. I'm gonna use this plastic bag, a toothbrush, a rubber band, and this four months cleaning vinegar to take care of it. And not only am I going to clean this area here, but I'm also going to clean the area all around in here and underneath those little crevices. So let's get that started. I'm going to spray some of this in this bag and then add a little bit of water. Give a good spray here. I'm going to put this rubber band around it. So I'm going to let that sit like that for a few minutes while I address this part. This has been sitting for a few minutes now, so let's get that cleaned off. And that's a little filter right there too that sometimes, depending upon how things go, you might need to take out and replace. So my zone two task one, two, three, and four done. To see more of my zone cleaning, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of my homemaking stories and I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit our sponsor Apron Diva at www.aprondiva.com.